Welcome to K-Zone. Today, we will share about M16A2-A4 or AR-15, which firearm offers superior performance. Military Rifle Comparison Let's start. The M16A2-A4 and the AR-15 are both rifles, but they serve different purposes and come with some notable differences. These firearms have historical significance and are commonly used by military and civilian shooters alike. In this comparison, we'll delve into the characteristics and distinctions between the M16A2-A4 and the AR-15. M16A2-A4 the M16A2 is a selective fire rifle that was adopted by the United States military in the 1980s, replacing the original M16. It was designed for military use and primarily issued to soldiers in the U.S. Armed Forces. The M16A2 and its later variant, the M16A4, are both used by military and law enforcement. AR-15 The AR-15, which stands for Armalite Rifle, is a civilian version of the military's M16 rifle. The AR-15 was designed by Eugene Stoner in the late 1950s and sold to the civilian market by the company Armalite. The AR-15 is typically semi-automatic, one shot per trigger pull and is widely used for sporting and recreational shooting by civilians. The M16A2 and M16A4 are selective fire rifles. This means they can be configured for semi-automatic, one shot per trigger pull, or burst fire, a burst of three rounds per trigger pull, or, in some cases, fully automatic fire continuous firing as long as the trigger is held down. In practice, most M16A2 and M16A4 rifles are configured for semi-automatic and burst fire. The AR-15 is typically a semi-automatic rifle, which means it fires one round per trigger pull. It does not have the capability for burst or fully automatic fire in its civilian configuration. The M16A2 typically features a 20-inch barrel, while the M16A4 may have a 20-inch or a 14.5-inch barrel, depending on the specific variant. The longer barrel provides improved accuracy and increased velocity for the 5.56mm NATO ammunition it fires. AR-15s come in various barrel lengths, commonly ranging from 16 to 20 inches. Some shorter variants exist, but they often require additional legal measures for civilian ownership. Barrel length can impact accuracy and maneuverability. The M16A2 is equipped with adjustable iron sights designed for accurate targeting at varying distances. It features a rear aperture sight with different settings for different ranges. The M16A4, on the other hand, may be equipped with detachable optics such as scopes and red dot sights in addition to its iron sights. AR-15s often feature adjustable iron sights similar to the M16A2, but they can be customized with a wide range of optics and accessories, including scopes, holographic sights, and red dot sights. Many AR-15s come with flat-top receivers designed for easy optic mounting. Most M16A2 and M16A4 rifles are equipped with a bayonet lug, which allows for the attachment of a bayonet. They also feature a flash suppressor at the muzzle to reduce the visibility of the shooter's position. AR-15s may or may not have a bayonet lug and flash suppressor, depending on the specific model and manufacturer. 
These features are often added or omitted based on the civilian market's demands. The standard magazine capacity for M16A2 and M16A4 rifles is 20 or 30 rounds. However, higher capacity magazines are available and used in military configurations. The civilian AR-15 typically uses magazines with capacities ranging from 10 to 30 rounds. Extended magazines are also available for certain models. In the United States, fully automatic or selective fire variants of the M16 are subject to the National Firearms Act NFA, and can be owned by civilians under strict federal regulations, including background checks, fingerprinting, and the payment of a $200 transfer tax. These weapons are not readily available to the general public. The AR-15, in its civilian semi-automatic form, is widely available and subject to less restrictive regulations in many states within the United States. It can typically be purchased by individuals who can legally own firearms without the same level of federal scrutiny required for NFA-regulated firearms. The M16A2 and M16A4 are chambered for 5.56 by 45 mm NATO ammunition, which is a standard caliber for military rifles. The AR-15 is also chambered for 5.56 by 45 mm NATO but can often be found in other calibers, such as .223 Remington. Different calibers may require barrel and magazine modifications. The M16A2 and M16A4 have been widely used by the U.S. military and several other armed forces around the world. They have seen service in various conflicts and are known for their durability, reliability, and accuracy. The AR-15, while based on the same platform, is not used by the U.S. military in its civilian configuration. However, its design influenced the development of many military rifles, including the M16 series. Military rifles, including the M16A2 and M16A4, have strict specifications and are less customizable compared to civilian AR-15s. They are typically issued with standard components and accessories. The AR-15 is highly customizable, with a vast array of aftermarket parts and accessories available. Owners can modify their AR-15s to suit their specific needs and preferences, from handguards and stocks to triggers and barrels. M16A2 and M16A4 rifles are generally more expensive than basic AR-15 models, primarily due to the select fire capability and the fact that they are often manufactured to military specifications. The AR-15 is available in a wide price range, with basic models being more affordable and customizable models potentially costing significantly more depending on the quality and features. In summary, the M16A2-A4 and the AR-15 are related firearms that share a common design lineage but have distinct differences in their intended use, features, and legal status. The M16A2-A4 is a selective fire military rifle, while the AR-15 is a semi-automatic civilian firearm. Understanding these differences is crucial for those considering purchasing or using these rifles. Always be aware of and adhere to local, state, and federal laws and regulations regarding firearm ownership and use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like, share and subscribe.